EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for September 23rd, 2021. So yesterday we welcomed the new season at 3.20 p.m. with the arrival of autumn. And today, that makes today the first full day of autumn. But it's not really going to feel like autumn just yet. We have a rain system, a very uh, potent rain system to move through the region today. And a uh, cold front that's that's a north, in a north-south alignment, as you can see here. Uh, but we're not going to have uh, uh, any autumn temperatures until a day later. So first full day of autumn officially today, but I think you're going to like the rest of the forecast for the rest of the week, for the remainder of the week, uh, with the as far as if you're a fan of autumn and those uh, cooler temperatures, lower humidity, and crisp mornings. I think we have a lot of that coming in the week ahead and probably the week after that too. <laughs> it's looking pretty good uh, for a start to to autumn. So we all have, we'll have the higher dew points today with those uh, the temperatures – uh, in the 68 to 80 degree range, it's such a high spread because the there's the frontal boundary working through. So western areas, when you're getting rain this morning, aren't really going to be able to recover too fast. Areas east of the front, down by uh, you know, especially down by the Philadelphia metro and the Jersey Shore points, will get easily close to 80 degrees before that front gets there because it's going to be coming in later in the day. It's a very slow moving front from west to east. So. With that rain, we're going to have uh, your, your cars are going to be filthy again. So that means it's a good time to plug our daily forecast sponsor for the Thursday videos, which is North Penn Car Wash in Lansdale, Montgomery County. They have the Unlimited Car Wash Club, which you can join for just $13.95 a month. And that means you can, weather doesn't matter, you can wash your car as many times as you like during a calendar month. And it is, it is for one low monthly rate. Uh, and even better yet, Mention that you saw the video, mention EPAWA specifically, and they'll give you your first month for just $9.95 uh, for the first month of that club membership. So uh, they are $9.86, Summintown Pike in Lansdale. If you are in the Bucks, Montgomery, southeastern Pennsylvania area and are looking for a good deal on a car wash, that's one heck of a deal. So tell them I sent you. Uh, proud sponsors of the Thursday forecast videos, North Penn Car Wash. Uh, so... Again, today, getting back to the uh, the rain, we have all this heavy rain moving through, but it's just a, this band that it's showing here, it's, it's a three to five hour wide window of opportunity for moderate to heavy rainfall, okay? So this is an all day thing, okay? You're going to have some showers out ahead of this, and then that band is pretty much the main show, that's it. Uh, also, very. I know the Storm Prediction Center had a marginal risk for severe today, and I had a lot of questions on that about Twitter, or because there's a lot of, uh, you know, people are a little worried about uh, tornadoes and and everything else. As we had so many of them this summer, there is a non-zero chance for a a brief tornado today. That is possible, but it's not very likely, folks. Not not at all. Uh, and I I would be surprised to see it. We're going to be very stable today. A lot of clouds. And a lot of uh, a very lack of instability. We have good shear, and we have a southeasterly wind flow, which usually gives you a little bit of turning of winds with height. But the, you're not going to have rotational updrafts if you just don't have the instability and you have a cloud cover and uh, the rain that's out ahead of it. So I just don't see it. You're not going to have convection today, most likely. Not seeing damaging wind threat at all. Uh, but yeah, you know, I can see that where you get that spin, the brief spin up that they mentioned there. But it's kind of like uh, it seems like the SBC is doing a CYA thing. Not really expecting it. Even their discussions, they say they're not really expecting it. it's a low chance. It's pretty low, okay? It's a non-zero chance, yes, but it's probably about 1%, in, in my opinion. It's very low, uh, but it, not impossible. Weak, brief spin-up uh, is, is, is not out of the question, but I think this is primarily a rain event, so don't get excited about severe weather today, all right? Uh, or get worried. I know there's a lot of people that are very worried, and, and, and it's understandable. We had, you know, a lot of people were shell-shocked with the, what, what what happened this summer. It was just ridiculous with the amount of severe weather we had, and then tornadoes and violent tornadoes at that. I understand that. I get it. I get the fear, uh, but today's not one of those days you need to fear. Just worry about the rain. Uh, the, there is some flash flooding potential today with the heavy rain. Again, it's going to be that short shorter period, not a long duration thing. So here's that band as we get to the high res future simulator radar of the NAM. And this is looking at eight o'clock in the morning. You see a uh, almost north south boundary here where this front is. And this is extending from Lock Haven down through uh, through the Harrisburg and York County area. Uh, this is again at any one location, you get this heavy rain moving through for three to five hours, and then that's it. It tapers the showers quickly behind it. There will be out ahead of this this morning, though. There will be some scattered showers out ahead of this band as we progress through the morning. So it's not going to be like you're totally dry and you're just waiting for this band to come through and that's it. 
Not that at all. You're going to have some showers out ahead of it. And then the heavier band comes through. This is now looking at 3 p.m. You can still see it's now extending from Philadelphia all the way up to the scranton Wilkesbury area from northwest, almost northwest to southeast. And this continues eastward here. Uh, now, this is uh, the, the timing of this has been all over the place this week. It's been way far apart. And it was just yesterday morning, or actually afternoon, that these models started converging to the point where you could send out text alerts to our My Pocket Meteorologist members with accurate timing data because all week it's been in this i've been talking about this thing since last friday and they were 36 hours apart from one model to the next and you know just a day or two ago we're still over 24 hours apart on the timing so they finally converged and got the right idea here and that the idea today was to speed it up a little bit okay so this is going to be ending pretty quickly probably out of uh eastern far eastern pennsylvania by you know between 6 and 8 p.m tapering the showers and then stopping right and then it's still continuing over New Jersey. Here's 9 p.m. Done in PA, right? And then you get some showers lingering, especially toward the coast that hang a little bit past midnight. And then that's it. Then it moves off the, off the coast. And at the same time, we have, uh, you're going to see an abrupt change in the sky condition. As soon as the rain ends, very shortly thereafter, within an hour or so, you have clear skies. That's it. It's done. It's in and out of here pretty quick. Now this, uh, I want to go back to the uh, the precipitation real quick, just to show you what when this is all the way out here. So you see where this is uh, aligned at eight o'clock. It's between Lock Haven and, and York and uh, Harrisburg. The, the winds are going to be out of front in front of this. This is that same time frame at twelve o'clock. So here's the, it's it's all all the wind that you're going to have is going to be ahead of this band, not along it, not co-located with it. It's going to be ahead of it, and it's because there's a pressure gradient. It's because there's way out here to the east. Way out here to the east, there's a high, big high pressure over here, and way out to the west, which I showed you in that first image, there's a big low pressure. So the, in between the two, you get a pressure gradient that is really tight, okay? And that pressure gradient is causing your wind out in front of it, all right? That's what you're getting those winds. So as soon as the front comes over you, it's it's calm, basically, and the front passes, it's dead calm, nothing. You, you go from, look at this sh sharp cutoff. So you get wind gusts here that are 30, 35 miles per hour, right? Uh, for a time, especially closest to that front. And then once it moves through, it goes from that to like dead calm. So it's going to be a quick, just like the, the the rain just cuts off and the clouds go away almost immediately. So does the wind. Okay, but this is all preceding that boundary. It is not following it or it's not with it. All right, so this is not severe weather at all. This is 30 to 35 is not going to do too much damage. All right, so this is just synoptic wind ahead of the front and that's it. And that will be it. And uh, once we get beyond that, we are back to calm conditions behind it. So after this uh, moves away, we have high pressure moving in. We're going to have high pressure moving in for Friday. Friday, the entire day is dry. Saturday, the entire day is dry. Mostly sunny both days. Very pleasant. 70, 72-ish. Okay, here's the spread here for tomorrow. 67 to 73 is actually the spread. 67 will be in our far northern areas here. But and that's a, those are pretty good temperatures. And you're going to have some crisp nights uh, some cooler nights and then uh, crisp mornings, I should say. Uh, the next morning, you'll have temperatures in the 40s in the interior, uh, maybe low 50s uh, further southeast. So it's going to be pretty pretty nice, and it'll actually feel, play the part of autumn at that point. We have a weak front coming at us on Sunday that's going to lose all its moisture and dissipate. We will come through on Saturday night without any rain expected, but it will be reinforcing the uh, mostly sunny skies for Sunday and Monday, and the temperatures, again, will be right in the same range, 67 to 73 for that. Next chance for any precipitation is going to be on Tuesday, and that's going to be with this quick uh, moving disturbance that's rounding the base of a trough. It could have an isolated shower or thunderstorm late in the day or the evening, and then that sets up uh, Wednesday behind it to be mostly sunny again and in the same temperature range. So there's going to be a lot of mostly sunny days here in the week ahead. Really, only Tuesday we have to worry about for the next chance for rain, it doesn't look like a big deal at this point. So we get past today, at least it'll start feeling like autumn around here. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchus. That is your outlook for September 23rd, 2021. Have a great Thursday.